Hey friends, welcome to Nursing Online Education. In this video, we will be discussing important question and answers of different nursing comparative examinations. Guys, let's get started. Here is our first question. One, a 20-year-old college student comes to the college health clinic reporting increasing anxiety, loss of appetite, and an inability to concentrate. What is the most appropriate response by the nurse? A. With whom have you shared your feelings of anxiety? B. What have you identified as the cause of your anxiety? C. It has been difficult for you. How long has this been going on? D. Let's talk about your problems. Are you having difficulty adjusting? The answer is option C that IT has been difficult for you. How long has this been going on? 2. A nurse is caring for a client who attempted suicide. What is the most desirable short-term client outcome during this crisis situation? A. Strengthening coping skills. B. Establishing a no-suicide contract. C. Learning problem-solving techniques. D. Recognizing why suicide was attempted. The answer is option B. Establishing a no suicide contract. 3. A 31 2 year old child is admitted to the hospital for an appendectomy. What should the nurse use to best prepare the child for the hospital experience? A. A diagram. B. Puppet play. C. A storybook. D. Therapeutic play. The answer is option D. Therapeutic play. 4. A client with adrenal insufficiency reports feeling weak and dizzy, especially in the morning. What should the nurse determine is the most probable cause of these symptoms? A. A lack of potassium. B. Postural hypertension. C. A hypoglycemic reaction. D. Increased extracellular fluid volume. The answer is option C. A hypoglycemic reaction. 5. A client is admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of chronic kidney failure. For signs of what electrolyte imbalance should the nurse monitor the client? A. Hypokalemia. B. Hypocalcemia. C. Hypernatremia. D. Hyperglycemia. The answer is option B. Hypocalcemia. 6. During her sixth month of pregnancy, a woman visits the prenatal clinic for the first time that as part of the initial assessment, a CBC and a urinalysis are performed, which laboratory findings should alert the nurse that further assessment is required. A. WBC count of 9000 slash mm3. B. Hemoglobin level of 10 g slash dl. C. Urine specific gravity of 1.020. D. Glucose level of 1 in the urine. The answer is option B. Hemoglobin level of 10 G slash DL. 7. For dot glucose level of 1 in the urine 95.2 hours after an uneventful labor and birth, a client's uterus is 4 fingerbreadths above the umbilicus. After urinary catheterization, the fundus remains firm and 4 fingerbreadths above the umbilicus. What is the priority nursing action? A. Dot recheck the vital signs. B. Dot catheterize again in 1 hour. C. Dot notify the healthcare provider. D. Palpate the fundus every two hours.
The answer is option C. Notify the healthcare provider. 8. A client with severe preeclampsia is hospitalized. What should a nurse do first to ensure her physical safety? A. Decrease environmental stimuli. B. Place her on seizure precautions. C. Administer the prescribed sedatives. D. Strictly monitor her intake and output. The answer is option B. Place her on seizure precautions. 9. A nurse is caring for a client who has had an open reduction internal fixation of a fractured hip. Which nursing assessment of the affected leg is most important after this surgery? A. Femoral pulse. B. Toes for mobility. C. Condition of the pin. D. Range of motion of the knee. The answer is option B, toes for mobility. 10. A nurse is caring for a client with myxedema who has undergone abdominal surgery. What should the nurse consider when administering opioids to this client? A. Tolerance to the drug develops readily. B. Point one third to one half the usual dose should be prescribed. C. Opioids may interfere with the secretion of thyroid hormones. D. Sedation will have a paradoxical effect causing hyperactivity. The answer is option B. Point one third to one half the usual dose should be prescribed. 11. A nurse is caring for a child with spasmodic croup. Which clinical finding alerts the nurse that immediate nursing intervention is required? A. Irritability. B. Hoarseness. C. Barking cough. D. Rapid respirations. The answer is option D. Rapid respirations. 12. What must the nurse emphasize to the family when preparing a child with persistent asthma for discharge? A. That a cold, dry environment is desirable. B. That limits should not be placed on the child's behavior. C. That the health problem is gone when symptoms subside. D. That medications must be continued even when asymptomatic. The answer is option D. Medications must be continued even when asymptomatic. 13. An older adult with dementia is admitted to a nursing home. The client is confused, agitated, and at times unaware of the presence of others. What is the best nursing approach to help this client adapt to the unit? A. Initiate a program of planned interaction. B. Explain the nature and routines of the unit. C. Explore in depth the reasons for the admission. D. Provide for the continuous presence of a staff member. The answer is option D. Provide for the continuous presence of a staff member. 14. The parents of a child with a fever, headache, and stiff neck express concern that the child be tested for meningitis. Which test should the nurse explain to the parents is used to confirm the diagnosis of meningitis? A. Myelogram. B. Blood culture. C. Lumbar puncture. D. Peripheral skin smear. The answer is option C. Lumbar puncture. 15. A nurse is caring for a client after a left pneumonectomy for cancer. The nurse palpates the client's trachea routinely. What is the rationale for this nursing intervention? A. A mediastinal shift may have occurred. B. Nodular lesions may demonstrate metastasis. 
C. Tracheal edema may lead to an obstructed airway. D. The cuff of the endotracheal tube may be overinflated. The answer is option A. A mediastinal shift may have occurred. 16. A CBC urinalysis and x-ray examination of the chest are ordered for a client before surgery. The client asks why these tests are done, which is the best reply by the nurse. A. Don't worry, these tests are routine. B. They are done to identify other health risks. C. They determine whether surgery will be safe. D. I don't know, your health care provider ordered them. The answer is option B. They are done to identify other health risks. 17. A client is scheduled for emergency abdominal surgery. What is the priority preoperative nursing objective when caring for this client? A. Recording accurate vital signs. B. Alleviating the client's anxiety. C. Teaching about early ambulation. D. Maintaining the client's nutritional status. The answer is option B. Alleviating the client's anxiety. 18. An infant born with hydrocephalus is to be discharged after insertion of a ventriculoperitoneal shunt. Which common complication of this type of surgery should the nurse explain to the parents to prepare them for their child's discharge? A. Violent involuntary muscle contractions. B. Eyes with sclerae visible above the irises. C. Excessive fluid accumulation in the abdomen. D. Fever accompanied by decreased responsiveness. The answer is option D. Fever accompanied by decreased responsiveness. 19. Parents are considering a bone marrow transplant for their child who has recurrent leukemia. The parents ask the nurse for clarification about the procedure. What is the best response by the nurse? A dot IT is rarely performed in children. B. The immune system must be destroyed before a transplant can take place. C. The hematopoietic stem cells are surgically implanted in the bone marrow. D. IT is a simple procedure with little preparation needed, and the stem cells are infused as in a blood transfusion. The answer is option B. The immune system must be destroyed before a transplant can take place. 20. What is most important for a nurse to do when helping a new mother on the postpartum unit develop her parenting role? A. Teach her how to care for the infant. B. Provide time for her and her infant to be together. C. Respond to any questions she has about her infant's behavior. D. Demonstrate infant care and evaluate her return demonstration. The answer is option B. Provide time for her and her infant to be together. 21. When performing a newborn assessment after a vaginal birth, a nurse observes a swelling on one side of the top of the head. What clinical manifestation did the nurse identify? A. Cap at succedaneum that will spread across the scalp and then resolve. B. Fontanelle that bulges when the infant cries and will close in 18 months. C. Cephalohematoma that does not cross the suture line and will resolve in several weeks. D. Molding that results from the skull taking the shape of the vagina and will disappear in several days.
The answer is option C. Cephalohematoma that does not cross the suture line and will resolve in several weeks. 22. What should the nurse do to assess the neurovascular status of an extremity casted from the ankle to the thigh? A. Palpate the femoral artery. B. Assess for a positive Hohmann sign. C. Compress and release the client's toe nails. D. Instruct the client to flex and extend the knee. The answer is option C. Compress and release the client's toe nails. 23. A client who has breast cancer had post-lumpectomy chemotherapy and is now scheduled for radiation on an outpatient basis. What is an important nursing intervention while the client is receiving radiation? A. Assess the radiated site daily for redness or irritation. B. Rinse the radiated site with an antibacterial solution after each treatment. C. Instruct the client to apply lotion twice daily to the skin on the radiated area. D. Encourage the client to wear a snug-fitting bra between radiation treatments. The answer is option A. Assess the radiated site daily for redness or irritation. 24. Which statement by a client with type 2 diabetes indicates to the nurse that additional teaching about the diet is needed? A. That I can eat as much dietetic fruit as I want. B. That I can have a lettuce salad whenever I want it. C. That I know that half of my diet should be carbohydrates. D. That I need to reduce the amounts of saturated fats in my diet. The answer is option A. I can eat as much dietetic fruit as I want. 25. A client with the diagnosis of personality disorder with antisocial behavior is hospitalized. The client is openly discussing interpersonal difficulties with family members and the boss at work from whom money has been stolen. The client presently is facing criminal charges, which behavior indicates that the client is meeting treatment goals. A. Dot expression of feelings of resentment toward the employer. B. Dot discussion of plans for each of the possible outcomes of a trial. C. Dot expression of resignation about difficult spousal and children relationships. D. Dot discussion of the decision to file a grievance against the employer after discharge from the hospital. The answer is option B. Discussion of plans for each of the possible outcomes of a trial. Thank you for watching.